So here we are with the Drake 1A and I uh, found the uh, faulty switch the other day and uh, here we have a new switch wafer in place, a ceramic one and it had to be modified to work in the Drake because this is the old switch wafer here and you see the uh, the wiper contact is sp spaced right one spacing away from the mounting hole so the switch was originally in that way and that's the wiper spacer there and it's one, one contact away from where the mounting hole is whereas a regular switch wafer has the wiper contact right next to the mounting hole. Here's one like that. And that's a bluish tinged one just, just there, right next to the mounting hole. So I had to uh, swap these two contacts around uh, by drilling them out and then epoxying in with the original rivet. Um, this is identical wafer to the one that's in the radio now. And you can see the uh, the wiper contact just pointed out is that one there, and it was previously that one there. So these had to be swapped around. So it's uh, back in there, wired up, couple of new resistors as well, and uh, you can see the trace on the scope. That's WWV, WWV setting. <laughs> um, and then we go to 80. Still a very strong trace on the scope there. A good signal coming from the from the crystal oscillator. Now we're on 40 meters. Again, really good trace. It's actually kind of there. You go. So a bit better on the screen. You can see it. And then uh, 20. Good trace. First 10 meter band. Oh sorry, that's 15 meters. And then the first 10 meter band. And it's a weaker signal, but it's there and it's steady. That's because it's a high overtone of the 3.5 meg crystal. And there's the next 10 meter band and the uppermost 10 meter band, which have separate crystals for those two. But this is the one that was faulty before, and that's rock steady now. So here we go. Not an easy repair, curve ball at the last minute with a switch wafer, but there you go. And I mounted the switch so it could be cleaned easier, so the contacts are at the front of the switch rather than at the back. There you go. One Drake 1A, fully functional, finally. <laughs>